the uh, Western Con Vanishing position at Western Con 68. Uh, we are consider are continuing with bids for Western Con 71, which will be held in 2018. Uh, at this time, the first, the first and only known bidder is Denver. My name is Keith McClough. I am the bid chair for our bid. Our convention chair will be Nikki, so she'll actually be doing most of the presentation. And I'm Sheila Lagoon. I'm helping out with parties and uh, organization for the convention. I'm Nikki Ebright, and I am one of the co-chairs for the convention, along with Peter J. Wax, who unfortunately was able to meet this weekend with us. And I'm David Hoop, I'm going to be in charge of programming. <laughs> so, we are looking at um, July 4th, 9th, uh, uh, 19th, of uh, 2018, at uh, the WesterCon 71. So, we're very excited because Denver has never had a WesterCon. <laughs> there has been World Cons, but not a WesterCon. And so, we're very excited to have the opportunity to hopefully bring uh, WesterCon to Denver. To boldly go where no WesterCon has ever gone before. So obviously we have a number of people um, on our big team who have a very diverse <coughs> amount of experience, which is fabulous. Um, I myself run a Denver area convention called the Myths and Legends Convention. It is a fandom-based convention. Uh, we focus on things like Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, Doctor Who, Firefly, um, things that are very uh, fandom oriented and we have uh, discussions, panels, programming, large events, dances, um, and, and things of that sort. One of the things that we like to do is we have a charity each year that we support and this year our charity is Stories for Students, which is the charity that will be the, um, the backing charity for Westercon, our Westercon bid. Uh, stories for Students it is, um, it is our mission to bring stories into the hands of students, uh, starting with electronic form, so basically have a way for a student to go online and download a story onto their tablet or their phone or their computer, whatever they have to be using, and it's at no cost to the kids. So that, uh, that's also part of our bid. Um, the hotel is the Ramada Plaza Denver North. If you've been to Denver, that's at 120 and 125. Everything in the convention space is located centrally together on one level. So all the ballrooms, the panel rooms are all centrally located with a wonderful atrium in the middle. Um, there is uh, accessible entrance straight from the parking lot. Parking is all free. Uh, so that, and we always, we have on our maps, we mark exactly where the accessibility entrances are and how then you can then take the elevator to get up to your room. So that uh, accessibility is very important to us because we have some fans in Denver that are um, wheelchair bound. We always want to make sure that they, you know, them. Um, the, um, yeah, so free parking, single level, uh, stories for students. Um, so diversity wise, we have a very strong um, safe space policy. And so that covers everybody. And one of the biggest things for um, kind of for fandom is making sure that women are safe and making sure that people of color feel safe and included. And so that is something that we make sure that is up front and center at the Myths and Legends Convention, and we carry that into WesterCon. Um, so that's something that's very important. And we definitely, if you have suggestions on guests you'd like to see that are in that diverse population that you feel um, would be um, of interest, we definitely want to hear about that because we will reach out to those people immediately. Uh, we definitely want to bring more and more diversity in because it doesn't feel like there's enough diversity in fandom. <laughs> and so we would like to definitely um, encourage more of that. For myself, with the Ms. Legends Convention and continuing forward with the with WesterCon, we have a lot of women-led departments. Um, so like my head of gaming is a female, I'm obviously a female, um, my head of um, uh, vendors to people. So we, we, that is something else all that is important is, is uh, representing minority as much as we can within you know, the local population. And Connor Bust um, is something I just found out about a couple weeks ago, and so I missed their, um, their current year's auction. But it is definitely my plan to get in touch with them after this crazy weekend and um, get some Myths and Legends con tickets out to them, and then of course we will do Western con tickets, definitely. Did you have anything head of programming mm -hmm. that you'd like to add for the, um, the diverse audience? Well, you know, Denver and Colorado in general is really known for having a, a, a strong uh, female writing community uh, led uh, by uh, Connie Willis, who is local. Uh, we also you know, have like uh, Carrie Vaughn, uh, Molly Tanzer. We have a lot of strong female voices 
in Colorado that uh, we're definitely going to be reaching out to and making a part of the, of the program if, if they're available. Okay, a couple of questions. Uh, accessibility of the uh, your property from the airport and from the train station? It's, current, it's not far from the airport. Um, unfortunately, there is not a shuttle directly from the airport that's sponsored by the hotel, but there is definitely um, a lot of shuttles within the uh, airport complex that run to various hotels, so that's really easy and we're going to work on